Hi, it's, this is Cubby. You just entered the crazy ass newbie channel. To all my friends, I uh, I wanted to give a shout out to a, a say Kemp Latrell, who's a friend of mine. You can see the link; it's on the front page there. He guided me to a couple of places. Well, a place where I can listen to Rick Simpson on the radio. And the first time I missed it, my own fault. The second time, life interceded in me not being able to see it. I hope to catch the one tomorrow. I should be able to. Life has been kicking the shit out of me. I'm in a battle with my condominium. I'm going to show you a video where I was in a battle with the tow trucks who were trying to take everybody's vehicles. They had no right. I tried to explain. Unfortunately, the phone cuts off. The battery died just at the really crucial and important parts, of course. I came back with my own crappy little phone, but it's got a very bad... Um, distortion. As soon as there's any kind of loud noises, it, you can't hear shit coming off this video. I'll try to throw a couple pieces in. I really wanted to free the people, so I sat down and got five beautiful pages of written information to each of the owners. It's going to take 299 letters. So far I've gotten 50 of them together, all in envelopes. The difficulty is I don't have a lot of finances and I have to do this all on my own. But I'm trying to educate the people so that they know what their rights are. There's an immense amount of people in here who have no idea what's going on is not allowed to be being done. That they have a right. That they have a voice. That everybody, including the renters, have an ability, when a change is done, and there's commerce involved, and it affects everybody, to walk towards and stand in front of everybody and try to convince those owners who are about to vote those changes can affect even the renters. Everybody has a voice, and I hate this, I hate this way it's made, I hate this fucking world, I hate the fucking government! And, including to make everything just wonderful, my wife and I have difficulties which I didn't even know. That was a left hook from fucking out of nowhere kind of shit, to tell me that, um, we're gonna sell the place and split the money and go our separate ways. I mean, I fucking don't believe this. That's a whole different story. So I guess maybe officially now I'm I guess I'm separated and single. Anyway, um, there is a, a numerous amount of emotional shit going on here. I'd also like to give a shout out to Rick Simpson and tell him I'm very sorry that twice now I've tried to make it to your talk host radio show and I find myself well the first time I. I missed it because of my own fault. The second time was because of all this shit and nonsense that I have to deal with. And now I have an immense, uh, a limited amount of time. Uh, I had planned to get voted in if I can get enough votes. It only takes 75 voters to get them the fuck out of here, the property management that has taken over and dictating to us. Once they were removed, I intended to bring in my referendum website and allow everybody to have a voice. I want to create direct democracy here. If I could make it here, if I made it happen, if I made it work and showed it as a possibility, maybe we'll get the media attention necessary. Maybe other condos will do it. Maybe when they see that's a capability, maybe our own government might see it as that. Because I want all the renters and all the owners to have a voice together. That it set up a referendum website, even set up another com simple computer modem dial-up that'll call out to the owners who have no internet. They can get on a list and never miss anything important. These army people who go off for a month and two months at a time, these gentlemen who go working out of town for months and two months at a time, they're going to come back and find out they have no vehicle because they have never been informed until the last second when they're about to move your vehicles, and your vehicle will be long gone towed onto the street for the city to come along and continue the towing, so you'll end up with two towing charges. Fucking insanity, man. It's very frustrating, and you can see... Anyway, my friends... I don't know if I'm going to do any more videos anymore. I don't even know what the fucking future entails. I just know that I'm... sick inside. <laughs> I feel pretty alone. I spent all my time with this fucking YouTube that I... I think I've lost connections to things that were important outwardly. I spent so much time taking in knowledge to understand how the world is and what it is.
I don't know if I'll be back, my friends. I will read that five-page letter on this video or another. I don't know if it's going to take too long. <laughs> I wanted to tell Rick, thank you. Thank you for giving me my life back. If I hadn't been able to get out of being sick in the last few years, I would have been much, much worse off had this time come. God bless each and every one of you and all those your heart touches. How you doing, my friend? Nothing personal on you. I know you're just doing your job. But I just have to record it. I have to record it for, you know, Oh, if you wouldn't mind, sir, I would love. They're doing this illegally. They haven't conferred, no quorums, no nothing. So when they do, we're going to go and talk to all the neighbors and we'll take them to court. Yes, it is. No, they don't. I'm an owner and I know all the rights. I studied the bylaw back when I was a part of the board. I'm an expert on this knowledge. I sent them a 12 page letter, gave them the chance. They had their opportunity. We'll take it to the next level. But anyway, if you'd like to give me your card. <laughs> this is, yeah, this has got to stop. And it's not personal towards you, my friend. It really is. They are illegally. Follow me. No, you can't. No, because people can legally record. I'm sorry, my friend. This is not. <laughs> I did not allow you to take my picture, so please. Leave. I know the right rights and please I know leave. the laws, so please. Leave. I'm sorry. This is a freedom of standing here. Well, turn that off. I'm sorry. I don't have to do that either. I tell police to do it all the time. So you want to see me in court? Chuck, sure, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> I know the laws. You have no right. You have no grounds. You're just doing this to me, sir. It means nothing. What I'm doing is I'm recording for the benefit of the owners who need to know. That I don't need your permission. No, I don't. No, I don't. Not unless it's a business associated. And this isn't business. No, it's not. <laughs> I have no business with you. I'm just recording casually. You do what you have to do. I do what I have to do, sir. Please keep doing what you're doing. You do. You too. You nicely, three times. That's good. I'm, I'm glad you did. And no, I will not leave. I don't have to. That's terrible. Thank Sorry, you. but I know the law. You're wasting your time. I do all my time studying the bylaws and the acts and even the criminal law. You've heard of free men on the land? Well, I'm not one, but I've learned a lot from them. And it's it's insufferable that they are allowed to do this to the people. It really is. My love, what they did was not legal notice. For one thing, it has to be mailed to you or hand delivered. It specifies it right in the bylaws. No, no, hand delivered in person, it states it clearly. I gave the lady a 12 page letter on all the things that they have completely wronged. I've given everybody a chance. Doesn't matter. Well, that's too bad. That's where registered mail is so important. Yeah. I understand, and you know what they used to do in the past? Listen, they used to come in with a bobcat because it was a privilege. If you decided to leave your vehicle, you didn't get the snow removal. It was that simple. Suddenly, they're making commerce based on it, which is a business act, which no proxy, no quorum, no special resolution was ever put together for. I have you. I'm sorry, but I do. And I will be bringing mediators in. Well, okay, but I have the... That's insufferable, yeah. Yeah, that's really sad, too. It's unfortunate. But you know what? There is a means of laws and rules that we have to uphold, or otherwise we get oppressed by a certain people coming in and doing things they're illegally not allowed to do. And I've explained that. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but you're in completely wrong on that aspect too. Yes. I, I can show you a copy. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll make a copy. Yeah, sure. We'll just take okay. a look at the 12 pages I, I sent to them. You could nitpick what it is that you want to nitpick, but the point is, is they have no legal grounds because they never made a meeting of the owners in person to come and vote on this. And because of that, it makes all of it null and void. I doubt it. And if we did, we were probably very, very polite and I'm a very nice person. <laughs> oh, are you making a personal attack on me, my love? Mm-hmm. Because I've been here for 15 years and I've seen people come in here improperly and do things. The, the owner on there had his tree cut while he was out and there was no reason for it. It had been there for years, no problem. So yes, I was concerned about an arborist coming in without our knowledge or our understanding and again, not speaking to the people, the owners. So. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't there. Oh. So, isn't that rough for you, eh? You too, you too. My love, if you have no business of this with maintenance, why are you still going on about this? This has no bearing on you. But you're hired by the corporation. This is a recording of the continuation of the illegal act that the corporation the property management in power has decided to do. You can touch the vehicle. It was all simple. <laughs> I think the owners are really going to appreciate this, or renters. I think it's time we take our Like, wow. No particular reasoning on that. 
Could have just easily gone around with no problem whatsoever. Huh. Well, this isn't a money-making scheme at all. Whether they don't have insurance, is that what the problem is? That maybe if they nick a car that they're fucking screwed? Perhaps. We'll have to find out.